Hello everyone, this is Derek again from TokenPay. I'm here to talk about the functionalities of the wallet, specifically the chat function. So as you can see here, I'm kind of testing it out with John, but it's actually pretty simple, right? So what you want to do is you want to go to an open chat list right here. Let's say you want to start a private conversation. You can go here and start a private conversation. And then what you're going to do is you're going to enter an address um, a name and then a public key, right? And let's say you want to start it and you want to give it to somebody. It's very simple. All you got to do is you got to go to the wallet over here um, and you want to go here. See, this is your actual address and this is your public key. You can pick any one of these that you have right over here, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have, a, I'm going to send this to a friend and the friends are going to send me so you can see live what goes on. So I'll be right back. So what I've done right now is uh, I'm talking to Vlad right now, who is our uh, Romanian developer. Um, and what I've done is for the chat, boom, there it is. Here's my address. Here's uh, the public key. You get a notification. If I go to the chat, go to the notifications here. Um, if not, you just kind of go here and you'll see right here. So he sent it as an anonymous, right? So um, what he needs to do is basically um, send it from his own personal address so that it's an actual individual chat, right? So right now, if he sends me a message, it's anonymous. And then, of course, when he starts sending chats from uh, a default address, he can go. So I'm going to pause the video now so I can let him know, and then I'll go live again to how he can do that, okay? So what I've asked uh, Vlad to do is very simple. So when you send me a message not to use the anonymous feature for now, um, what we did is we went from the default address. He selected default address to send the message to, and then that way he was able to send, right? So when we go to the actual chat, boom, there it is. Hey, there's Vlad. I've got him in. And here it is. Look, I'm going to put a label for him. Sorry. And I'm going to put token pay flat and I'm going to add the address and boom there it is that's flat hello and that's it you know this is a pretty simple uh, chat feature but it's very powerful it actually can do uh, group conversations as well obviously you can add people in your address book and this is key because if, let's say, you want to send money real fast or whatever, you can easily go, go through all of this, right? And you can go to your tools or options menu, and, um, and you know, whether you want to have chat enabled or not. Um, I believe you have the ability to um, remove the notifications. I'm pretty sure you do. Um, just right now in this video, I'm trying to see where I can uh, get it. So I'll be right back. Hold on a second. My mistake. So here it is on options. If you go to display, you'll be able to change uh, the language that defaults to whatever your language is in your operating system. So if you're Spanish or Mandarin or whatever it is, but if you want to uh, have uh, incoming notifications, you can see there. Alrighty, so that concludes the functionality of the chat. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you use it. Um, I'll probably create a group for us in here so that we can try to keep it uh you know all all in the family right so again if you have any questions or anything please contact us on our website uh through the uh, home page or the dashboard uh, and we'll help you out in any way that we can all right thank you bye-bye